one representing Australia. Yeah. Honestly, this is one of the most classic matchups in Smash 4. But this has the most history. Diddy and Sheik, yep. they were fighting for the top tier spot for a long time, and I still think this matchup is very, very interesting. I guess, honestly, it's pretty even, all things considered. I will say that. But she can definitely uh, the more solid character, without a doubt. Uh, which is being shown right here. Oh my goodness, Kakujin already not even entering double up. Uh, maybe Jinxin right there. Enters double digits at last. Only 17, however. Banana in hand. Yeah, taking away that banana is very, very pivotal for being able to fight Diddy. Right. He doesn't have a uh, very strong tool of his to get those free grabs. And he does. Okay, nice. Back air. Finds the back air. Smart stuff. Ooh, but eating one of Sheik's here. Oh, I was so quick there. connecting with the banana and there. I mean, it was. Kakujin was uh, kind of discovered during a time where I believe Void was still like being discovered. Right. And those two were the ones that everyone was looking to for kind of some, that new Sheik tech, that sure. new feel. And, and you can argue, you know, kind of maybe Kakujin uh, just slightly got lost in the shuffle as far as how Void has kind of developed to come into his own. But this is still an incredibly solid player uh, who nobody has any right to sleep on, man. This guy can get it done. Uh, but my man, Jesmo here, you know, holding it down. down. Exactly, man. Just keeping up with some damage. No real threat of death yet at this point unless uh, he ends up getting a forward smash. Sure. Uh, most of the time, Diddy's been looking at like the 130% range. Uh, so they think it's down to the uh, right. Nice up to the He's been doing oh so well, that grab! God. That was disgusting. So many connections right there. Kakujin, I'm really interested. One thing that's really big for him is his efficiency as well with the banana. Good placement and yeah. stuff like that. Not afraid of it, just takes advantage of it. It Remember? makes it so strong yes. with your item game, it's better than it did wrong. And you're like, hey, yeah, pull out the banana. Yes, you're please. giving me a free opportunity to get some in. Let me get that potassium real quick. All right, Great power shield. Yep. Yeah. Jesmo, he's still getting in some damage with only 117 on Kakujin's side. Just moment, 103. This is it's gonna be a very, very difficult hill to climb. There it is again. Every single time he's been catching that banana or at least shooting it. There it is. Okay, nice and up tilt though. We'll finish that stock at last. I call that the slapper cut. The slapper? No, the slapper young, cut. Young slaps. If you slap him with an uppercut. I'm with it. Uh, for the down air. Yeah, maybe should have just went for the guarantee damage. Yeah. Definitely at this point. Still trying again to get these dares. Fishing for the hard stuff. Oh, nice tilt. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. Read the air dodge. At high percent, you know that they're going to wait for your air dodge. I really I really like that uh, better than like the 50-50 the a lot of people say. Because I think when you're just pulling back down, you have such a, a higher chance of connecting with the, with the up air than you do the, the up B. And you don't, you're not, you don't leave yourself vulnerable, stuff like that. Just in those situations, I just think that's the better option. And he definitely picked, uh, picked it and it paid off big time for him. There's a much more higher chance of hitting, and at that percent, it's going to kill anyways. So. All right, they are on a completely flat stage final destination. Kakujin versus Jesmo. Jesmo really trying to hold it down for Australia right here. Gets two slap cuts to the face, to the chin. Right. But uh, Kakujin has been so good about responding with not only you know, Oh, oh it, my goodness. I was going to say not only one or two attacks. He just was taking stocks. That was disgusting. He said, excuse me, DC. Let me finish that sentence. <laughs> exactly. I take stocks. Stocks. Nice back airs right here. Continuously connected. Him. Goes through the side B, but that is not a true combo. Nice down tilt, but he not in the door to the grab soon enough. Oh my god. Fuck, mate. Like, I don't. Like, what? <laughs> Oh, well, that's the only thing he's got. That's the only thing he's got to be thinking right now, man. Like, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Crikey. I mean, I respect y'all's player, man, but. <laughs> oh, man. No, Kakujin is going in pretty hard right now. We're seeing some things that uh, he doesn't kind of fit into the, the normal, quote unquote, style of the Sheik's that right. we've seen so far. Oh, I love his style, Very unique. man. It is a unique, it's aggressive, and he knows when to pull back. Yeah. A lot like that last game. I would not be surprised to see Kakujin a lot farther on in this tournament unless Jesmo can stop him right here, but he B reverses into the up smash. My, 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 my. That he man went from the down. In the building. He went from down under to up, upside down, dead, spinning around, don't even know where the hell he's going to hit the ground.